Hey folks, welcome back to another video. So you don't have a PC, but want to play side quest games. You may have also watched my previous videos using the Bug Yeager app, but you want something easier. Well, have no fear, Wackman is here. Today, we have an awesome video, as SideQuest have released their own app for the phone, which makes it incredibly easy to sideload SideQuest games on the go or if you don't have a PC. So, if you enjoy the video and find it helpful, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, I would like to thank all of my subscribers, we have finally hit 10,000. I obviously couldn't have done it without you, so thank you for being awesome. Talking about awesome, remember my Eid special giveaway is still on where I will be giving away either Hyperdash, Gone or the Pants Wetting Cosmo Dread. And the winner will get to choose which game they want. So if you want to enter, then just like the video, subscribe to the channel, put on bell notifications and comment hashtag E2021 down below. Well, let's get straight into the video. So this is actually pretty straightforward, but it's only currently on Android. So iPhone users, unfortunately you can't do this right now. Now, make sure you have developer mode enabled on your quest. If you don't, I've linked a video that should help. Alright, the first step is to download the SideQuest app on your phone. I've left a link for it in the description below as well. Then, you need a cable to connect your phone to your headset. I'm going to use the cable that came with the quest as it works. But you may need to get an adapter or a different cable depending on your phone. I've linked some in the description. Once you've connected the quest to your phone, make sure you go in your quest headset. There will be a pop-up to allow the phone to connect to your quest. Press allow. Plus, there will be another pop-up that should come up. It normally takes around 10 seconds before it comes up. You generally only need to do it once every so often. It doesn't come up all the time. Once it has come up, press allow. Now, if you're happy just using SideQuest with the cable attached, then you don't need to do anything further other than finding the games and pressing install to headset. However, if you want to use SideQuest wirelessly, then you need to do this step. Please note, if you turn your headset off by restarting or powering it off, then you will need to do this part over again. But one big advantage for the Wi-Fi is that it won't drain your phone battery. It's simple to do though. All you have to do is when your Quest is connected to your headset, go into the Wi-Fi icon on the far left of the SideQuest app. And then when you're in it, press enable Wi-Fi. You need to make sure you're connected on the same network for both your phone and your Quest. That will pull your headset's local IP address. It will then say connected. Now you should be able to connect wirelessly. And to do that, simply press connect. If for some reason it doesn't work, you can manually add the IP address. And to see what it is, go onto your Quest headset, go into your Wi-Fi options, click on the Wi-Fi you're connected to, click advanced, and scroll to the bottom. And your IP address will be listed there. And that's it. Now you can install all the SideQuest games without any issues or crazy workarounds. A few things to note is some games may take you to the App Lab. If it does, just download it from there. It's the same thing. Otherwise, all you need to do is click install to headset. Well, that's all folks. Things have started to get a lot easier for everyone. And if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also remember to enter my Eid giveaway. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day, stay safe and see you next time.